My name is Rochelle Foken, and my live audience today is my sister. <laughs> M. Russell Ballard, an apostle for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, once said, Handheld devices need to be our servants, not our masters. Now, I ask you, has your phone become your servant or your master? Personally, I have found myself trapped in the phone grabbing, boredom replacing, late night scrolling prison of my phone. My phone has become my master. My biggest weakness is social media and I am ashamed to say I cannot go longer than a couple of days without having Instagram or Facebook on my phone. And I know I'm not the only one who recognizes this growing addiction and is searching for ways to overcome it. Therefore, today, I will be addressing two detrimental problems of social media and suggesting two solutions for each in hopes to help you and I both create better social media habits for ourselves. The first problem of social media is a decrease of self-esteem. Marcadas John and two other Pakistan scientists conducted a study in 2017 to assess the impact social media has had on self-esteem. They experimented upon a group of 18 to 24 year olds who tested at a 95% level of confidence. As you can see here, they found that those who spent five or more hours on Facebook a day had an average, had an average of 68% decrease of self-esteem. That is more than half of their self-esteem that was destroyed by the increased use of social media. So, what is the solution? Number one, remember that the purpose of social media is to connect with those around us. So remember this, and it will help you put into better perspective why most people put only the good things that are happening in life. Number two, recognize the beauty in others instead of envying what they have or have done. Knowing that you are a group of religiously, who are religiously affiliated with scriptures, remember this, for man looks at the outer appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The second problem of social media is that we are losing our true purpose for this life. Have you ever been with a group of friends and said, let's take a picture? because the end goal really is to just have a cute picture to post on Instagram. The authenticity of the things we do is being muffled by our desire to have life bragging rights. An ancient prophet named Nephi said, men are that they might have joy. He said this in 600 BC. That is 2,444 years before the first groundbreaking of social media. That groundbreaking can loosely be identified as the 1844 telegraph. This being said, we can find joy without social media. So what is the solution? Number one, ask yourself this question before you post. What are my intentions? Is it to seek attention or to edify others? Is it to brag about the things I have done or to share the good times with good people. Number two, disconnect for a weekend. My BYU Creating a Good Life class has taught me that it is healthy to plan a weekend to disconnect from technology and spend that time with those you love and be there just to be there. By doing this, it creates more face-to-face -face connection and real authenticity in our lives. All in all, social media has great capacity to lower self-esteem and lose the purpose of our life. However, if we consciously reflect on how we think, feel, and act as we deal with social media, we can change this tool from evil to good. It is mine and yours personal and individual choice to make these conscious reflections. If we do so, we can rightly say, we have become our masters. <laughs>